Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to see a challenge in the weekly challenge series of UiPath on the channel which is called Tutorials by Mukesh Kala. The whole objective of this challenge series is to challenge you as an RPA developer in your automation skill. The format of the weekly challenge series is absolutely simple. Every Monday I would share one problem statement to you, some of the guidelines, some of the tips and as an RPA developer you have to solve that problem and you have to send me back whatever you have done. You would have one week to complete the solution and send it back to me. What's interesting is that at the end of the week whosoever is able to complete the solution with complete accuracy, best practices, everything and in a faster way would be the winner for this week and he would be receiving a goodie or a gift from my end. Some of you who are not able to understand the challenge and you want to learn more for them I would upload the step by step solution of the problem statement which we have given at the starting of the week. So in case you are not able to complete you can come back to the channel after one week where I would be posting the complete solution of the challenge whichever I have got right. So that's the whole idea of having the weekly challenge series and I hope you guys would enjoy doing the challenges. So in case you are coming to the channel for the first time and you haven't already subscribed please consider subscribing to the channel to get the next challenge and win an award or a goodie with that let's jump to this week challenge talking of the winners these are the four winners from our last challenge tbmk0002 Typically, I select only three winners, but this time I have selected four winners. The reason for that is the solution were very, very good. One of the solution has done this challenge by just using one activity. Some of the solutions were there which were doing it in a very fast manner. Others were there which were written in a very absolute good best practices or UI path. Hence, we are having four winners for this week. Miguel from South America, Akhil, Rahul and Ashok from India. Congratulations guys and once again thank you so much for participating in the weekly challenges. I have dispatched all your goodies so you should receive it very soon. For the people who are looking for the solution and the code you just can go to this website mukeshkala.com go to the challenges here you would find all the challenges we have only done two so this is for the second challenge this is the problem statement this is the solution video if you click on this button which says download the file you can actually download the solution whichever i have discussed in this video that includes all the winning solutions as well a special announcement this weekly challenge is sponsored by boundless group which is also my current employer so for the winner whosoever is appearing as the winner for this challenge would be directly getting a 50 dollar gift card sponsored by boundless group to know more about boundless group feel free to follow their linkedin page i'll post the link in the description for your reference Okay, so now let's go to the problem statement for this week, which is TBMK0003. So the name of the challenge is Vendor Data Mastery Challenge. The level, again, I'm speaking about the beginners. So the concept here is web automation, UI automation, and Excel automation, which you will learn once you complete this challenge. Okay, if I talk about the description, you have to create a program that automates uh, process of downloading data from a website for multiple vendors performing some of the calculation and then writing the data back to an excel sheet okay so i'll move down so this is the problem statement and this is the complete steps which you will find in the video descriptions as well but before going through that let me quickly show you what is the expectations okay so we have to go to this website which is called acme test okay so this is a website provided by test of uipath acme test you just have to go to this website and you have to log in okay in case you don't have an account you can just come to this website click on this button which says register okay provide your details and you should get a login okay so now what is the robot or the automation expected to do so the robot should come to this website the robot should log in here right when we say login 
you should take care of certain scenarios such as if the portal is already logged in the robot should not log in right all the password critical information should be stored in the orchestrator assets right you should read it and then you can log in right you have to take care of the proper login and the logout scenario so all the login scenarios whatever you can think of i leave that to you just implement it in the login sequences i just want to show you right because if you are already logged in to the portal that means you have not logged out and if you come back right you will find the portal in this state right and then your activities to log in will fail right so you have to handle all those scenarios okay so if case you are logging to this website for the first time i would recommend you to go to this button which says user options and here is an option called reset the test data right if you click on that then what will happen that you will get all these data populated by just clicking on this button which is reset test data in case if you are already using this and you have already done so you should have the data available with you okay so once you log in then the automation has to go to this button which is called vendors okay in the vendor you have something which is called vendor inventory okay so i'll again tell you so you go to vendor and then you go to here which is called vendor inventory okay in the vendor inventory you have a lot of vendor code so if i see here for me i have 1 2 3 4 5 vendor code available for my login right d f i r something right it can be different for you the numbers can be different and the count can be different as well okay now for each and every vendor if i click on this button which says check inventory okay i get this inventory details for this vendor okay so what is my task so my task is to get all these information and put it into an excel sheet right so think it that you are the vendor management and you want to get all the details for all the vendor right so i go here i take the first vendor i scrape all this data put it into an excel sheet i go to the second vendor click on the check inventory extract all this information put it in an excel sheet right so for each and every vendor you have to do it right but remember these vendor name can be dynamic some day it can be 10 some day it can be 20 some day it can be 4 right so today i only see 5 if i reset my test data it can be more okay once you extract all that data the excel would look something like this and this is your output excel where you have the name of the vendor here right so i can see that de32 having all this data second vendor third vendor fourth fifth and the automation has to add one sheet which is called final where you have to just make the total see this is the total now the question arises how do i evaluate the total so the calculation for total is simple multiply quantity and cost and then sum it right so if i show you this calculation how that is done okay so once you have all these data the robot is supposed to multiply the quantity and the cost okay so robot will get one number so you have to do it for all these right so multiply this by this this by this this by this this by this and so on for this and this and you will get this and at the end you have to just calculate the total so if i do a calculation total here you can see that i am getting a total of 779407 something right so if i change it so this is my number 77940.99 that is the total for this vendor right if i go to my final sheet that is the same number which is mentioned here right similarly for fr you have to again do the same maths multiply this and this this and this this and this and whatever you get just sum it up and put it in the final sheet right so my final evaluation would be to check this excel so i'll go to your excel whichever you submit i'll do this maths the same way i did here and i'll just validate the numbers in the final sheet and that way i would be able to know that your automation is correct or not and also you are going to submit me the code that i'll check for the best practices right so i hope this uh, automation requirement is clear okay okay so now i just quickly want to show that how my automation look like i am very much sure that once you are writing you will write very good automation as compared to me right so i'll go here and i'll say run the file i just wanted to show you guys how does the automation look like okay so my robot has started 
it will go to the website acmetest.uipad.com okay so it will log in with the credentials these are my credentials coming from the orchestrator it will log in okay then it went to the vendor vendor inventory got all the codes and now for each and every record it is going to the individual supplier and getting and extracting this information and dumping it into the excel sheet also doing the calculation and all those stuffs right so once it is done for all the vendor code you can see the browser closed everything done if i go to my project uh, here you can see there is something which is called data.xlsx i'll open that data file okay and as you can see that this has created all these different different excel sheet for the vendor name and then i have something which is called final which is having the sum as well right and how do you evaluate the sum multiply this and this and get the total okay so that is the challenge for this week guys i hope the challenge is clear okay so these are the steps which you need to automate i'll put all the steps in the description as well log into this website go to the vendor vendor inventory get all the code for each code check the inventory extract the information put it in an excel as vendor name right the name of the sheet add a final sheet with total of all the vendors which is quantity multiplied by cost and unit submit your final code for evaluation and also put the excel inside your solution like this okay like which i have shown uh, make sure that you log out properly from all the applications in terms of the evaluation criteria i will check how functional your automation is is it able to download all the data calculation is proper it is writing proper data how accurate it is how efficient is the solution how well you have handled the exception and errors right and how user friendly is your automation okay submission guidelines are simple you have to just go to the link which is available in the description upload your solution and the output excel embed inside in the same zip and upload it okay make sure that your code is well structured and readable some of the tips i want to give you while you are solving this automation start by creating a detailed plan for your automation process and then automate okay in case you are not getting the data go to the data user options and reset the test data as i shown in the video okay use the programming language and libraries whichever are suitable for web scraping excel calculation anything implement proper exception handling to handle unexpected issues okay and ensure proper login and credential management follow development best practices logging exception handling environment clean everything okay so these are the important dates guys so the challenge start today which is 9th of october 2023 the challenge end date would be 13th october you have four days to complete this automation and submit me the submission deadline is also the same okay okay so that is the challenge for this week sponsored by boundaryless group i would appreciate your feedback on this challenge and this weekly challenge series if you have any suggestions any feedback please let me know in the comments or you can also drop me an email as well all the best for this week challenge okay so that is all for this video I would like to wrap this video here. I hope this was insightful. If you have any more questions, any more doubts, feel free to write me in the comments or you can also drop me an email as well. I would appreciate your feedback on the video and tell me in the comments what would be the next topic or next video you want to see. So with that, I would wrap this video here. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please do subscribe to the channel and Happy automation.